Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about eight signs that you are in an unhealthy relationship. In this video, I'll be quickly going over eight simple signs and symbols that your relationship is not the healthiest one. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Sign number one is you don't trust each other. Trust is one of the most important aspects of being in a relationship with someone else. It is probably Probably the most important aspect. It takes a while to gain trust and trust can be lost easily if you do something to lose that person's trust. If you don't trust each other, like I mean if you don't trust each other and you've been in a relationship for a while then that relationship in my opinion is not healthy. If you've only been in a relationship for like a couple weeks or even like a couple months, it's understandable for you not to trust them 100% yet. But if you've been in a relationship for a while and you don't trust each other 100%, it's not a healthy relationship, at least in my opinion. Sign number two is you put each other down. Now it's it's totally fine to joke with the person that you're in the relationship with, completely normal and completely fine to have fun with them, but you shouldn't be putting each other down. You shouldn't be insulting each other. You shouldn't be making the other person cry. I mean, there's a difference between like fun and sort of sarcastic fun versus like, I'm going to insult you, right? You shouldn't be putting each other down or insulting each other. Sign number three is you bring each other down, aka you're worse together. Now, sometimes when you're in a relationship with someone, Someone and the relationship is healthy, you will bring each other up. Meaning, individually you're great, but together you're incredible. So, you know, like with regards to myself, I think that I bring my wife up and I know that my wife brings me up. We sort of make each other better people. We balance each other out. Now, if you, and our relationship isn't perfect by any means, but I'm just using it as an example. If you uh, bring each other down, on the other hand, then that's not a healthy relationship. You should be bringing each other up by complimenting each other and raising each other up you shouldn't be bringing each other down like you shouldn't feel like you're a worse person because you're with uh, that person that you're in the relationship with sign number four is you don't respect each other's emotions now emotions are uh, all about respect right and you got to respect the other person's emotions and they have to respect yours meaning if you're angry about something you know even if it seems irrational to them they should respect your emotion of feeling angry and they should at least ask why you're angry or at least try to improve and maybe not make you as angry in the future um, if the other if you're if you're the person that you're in the relationship with feels sad you should respect that emotion and ask them why they're sad and try and make them happy again so you have to respect each other's emotions it's as simple as that sign number five is you don't pay attention to each other listen if you're if your partner is talking, if your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever the case is, if they're talking to you and you're on your phone and you're not listening to them and that happens on a regular basis, then it's not a healthy relationship. And if the vice versa happens, it's not a healthy relationship. It's completely normal you know, for, for your, the person that you're in the relationship with to talk to you and from time to time you're deep into something else, completely understandable. That's normal. But if on the regular you don't pay attention to each other, that's not a healthy relationship. It's as simple as that. Sign number six is when one person is the boss of the relationship. Now, one person can't be the boss of the whole relationship. Now, it's totally, you, you have to make decisions together and it's totally understandable that if one person is better at one thing then they're gonna make decisions mostly on that thing and you're gonna make decisions mostly on this thing that's completely understandable but if one person is just the absolute boss of the relationship completely you know then it's just not a healthy relationship you need to both feel like you're contributing to the relationship and you need to both feel like you are in somewhat of control somewhat of the total amount of control of the relationship Sign number seven that you're in an unhealthy relationship is you don't support each other. You need to support each other in every venture. Even if it seems completely irrational to you, you got to support the person that you're with and they have to support you. Now, it's totally fine for you to have a conversation with them saying that maybe this isn't the best idea and I probably wouldn't do this myself, but if you want to do it, I will support you. You can state your viewpoint, but you have to support them in everything that they do do. Moving forward to the last one, which is number eight, um, you or they don't want to come home. If you don't want to come home or they don't want to come home, 
it's, a, it's an unhealthy relationship. Now, let's say you've been married for 10 years, you have three kids, and like you, you go and you hang out with your friend for a couple of hours, like you have a night off, and then you wanna stop and grab a coffee for an extra 15 minutes just to bask in that silence, that's totally different. That's not unhealthy, that's completely healthy actually. That's great time apart and everyone needs that time. But if on the regular you don't wanna come home or they don't wanna come home, it's just not healthy. You should really want to come home to see your spouse like 99.999% of the time or the whoever it is that you're in the relationship with. You should want to come home and see them. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over eight signs that you are in an unhealthy relationship. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.